Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about Earthworm Jim 2 Fight the Fish. Um, I was very dubious to read this sort of so quickly because I really wanted to savour it because I've only got the two books. I'm hoping Doug Tenaple will actually do some more. Um, because spoiler alert, I, I loved it. I really, really did. Um, I've started reading it a couple of times, put it down just to really try and savour it. And then I just thought, oh, I want to pick it up again. You know, I, st I started reading it again and I just, I couldn't put it down. Oh, I hate the fact that I haven't got any more to read. I really do. This was so much fun. I I cannot remember the last time I read a comic that just really didn't take itself seriously. That was clearly all meant to be a joke. And it just felt funny. It really did. There was no real world consequences. There was no like overarching themes or anything. It's just a crazy story meant to be told about a worm in a super suit. I mean, it's just... It's fantastic, it really is. Um, I mean, it, it, and it sounds absolutely insane. It sounds like the kind of thing you can't take seriously. But I'm going to be honest. The artwork is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I cannot get over how good this artwork is. Um, I especially I just want to show off a couple of things at least. So one of my favourite things... See, like, the, the silhouettes that you get here. Every now and then you get, like, a sort of silhouette -y panel. And I think those are just beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. I, I just cannot get over how how good this artwork is. Um, I do believe it's Doug Tenable that does it all himself. Oh, uh, and it's just amazing. It really is. I would love to think that this this would actually get a proper release. I mean, there's a, a full art page, if you can see. Um, I'd love for this to get a, an actual like, normal release. Obviously, I got these through, I can't remember if it was Kickstarter, Indiegogo. I think it was an Indiegogo campaign. Um, because I, I I heard from Doug Tenaple, he was talking about... Uh, the issues he had with her from Earthworm Jim, and he'd never actually gotten to tell the story that he wanted to tell. So he decided, you know what, I'm going to do it in a comic. So, yeah, obviously I've, I've talked a bit about uh, Earthworm Jim 1, Launch the Cow. This, uh, it, it actually takes place seconds after the first one finishes. Um, and it And it carries on from there. It does end in a way that I that I do want there to be a third book. It, it's not it's not a necessity. It's not like a massive cliffhanger ending or anything like that. It's it's capped off in a in a nice way that if this was going to be the last, it, it's kind of satisfying. But I would love for there to be more. Um, Princess, what's her name is taken by Bob the Goldfish, and. Jim, then with help of a few friends, um, flies off to, to a different planet to go and save her. Um, like I said, it's it's very much the kind of thing from similar to that of the first one, where it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's just an incredible amount of fun. Um, and like I said, for that, I am, I'm a little bit devastated that I don't have any more to read, but I'm really hoping Doug Tenable does do an Earthworm Jim 3 book, um, but I would definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, but guys, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have actually read the Earthworm Jim books at all, if you did sign up to the Kickstarter, the Indiegogo, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that really, really does help me out. And I'll see you all in the next video.